Welcome back to Shady Knoll's Farm. Today I'm going to do the cut of the, I, I named it um, Buttery Mint. It just looks like a gigantic piece of milk chocolate fudge. But it smells good. But it just, ugh, it looks like fudge. Okay, so get this all cut. I gotta say, I did cut the end piece. Um, I knew it wasn't gonna be a solid all the way through without any of these lines, but I was, I wanted to test my um, stamps. And this little one, the, this little duck, I just think he's adorable. Uh, this is what I used. Um, and then for the little dragonfly, I'm going to have figure out a way so I can put this into something. I just have it on a little piece of wire and I just kind of pressed it down inside of it. But I want to get somehow made that into a, put some wood or something so I can just use it as a stamp. But I think uh, it turned out pretty good, my little stamp. I stamped it, you know, right after I cut it, so it was still a little soft, but I think it looks cute, but it looks like a piece of fudge. All right, so I'm going to cut my soap. I won't cut all of it because it is just going to be all the same, but I do have another batch of soap that I'm going to rebatch, but I don't think I'm going to video it. I mean, how many times can you watch somebody rebatch soap? If it does something, you know, like special, I'll just show a picture of it in my next video. But yeah, it just looks, it just looks like this. I'm sure all of it's going to look the same. And I'll probably stamp all of them, just because I think that little stamp is cute. And I gotta figure out something to, see it's just all gonna be the same. They're gonna be little air pockets, but that's okay. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, about the stamp, yeah. I'll just need to figure out something with that little dragonfly. And I think this would make, you know, just a nice little kitchen scent. You know, maybe cut it in half or something. So you don't have this big old giant bar soap in the kitchen. Today certainly has been busy on the farm. I had to go buy six bags of chicken layer pellets and three bags of goat feed and... It seems like when everybody's out of food, it's just all at once, and that's, I had to put it all away and get some scratch for them, and it's getting chillier, so they need to make sure they have something in their stomachs before they go to bed to help keep them warm. But it's been a very nice day. The weather has been just beautiful. Just beautiful. I think in a couple days or... One day this weekend, it's supposed to, that must be one of those chunks that didn't melt. It's supposed to be very cold. I think they took the rain out, but I'm not sure. You can hear the roosters in the background. And you can hear my dog snoring. Maybe you can hear it. But this is what it's just going to look like this. All the way through it. It just... Looks like milk chocolate. Okay. But yeah, the next time I rebatch some soap, it's going to be a dark soap. Oh, that. As well. And I think I'm going to do that one in um, sweet orange and chili pepper. And it's going to be. 
It's just this that I'm going to grade up. It's the same thing I used in this. Seems like once the air hits it, boy, it just starts turning real quick. It was like a, like a, a cream color inside. Too bad it didn't stay like that. That would have been pretty neat looking, just having the dark and then the light inside. But nope. So I'm just going to make this with uh, sweet orange and chili pepper. That's another scent that I like. Okay, didn't quite get that one. So pretty big bars. I think I will cut it in half. Okay. Well, I did I did cut it. I didn't think I was going to cut it all on the video, but I did. Whoops. So, this is it. And thank you so much for watching.